Hello Leos, welcome to your mid-month tune-up for June 2022. If it resonates, consider a, a personal pre-recorded or a live reading for phone and chat only. Email me, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Leos for the middle of June 2022. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages? Any messages would be greatly appreciated. We thank you. What do you see? What do they need to know? Thank you for the two cards you provided. Can I please have two additional cards? Can you please give me a card of advice for Leos for June, middle of June 2022? We have the strength card in the reverse, which is your card, the card of Leo. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, your health in there specifically. And we end on the justice card in reverse as you move out of or forward from the middle of June. In my playlist, your 2022 sun moon predictions. Go check those out. 2023s are coming this month. I just haven't had time to start them on them, but put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in the link below. Anything in support of my channel is always appreciated, even if it's just in the comments. So, bum, bum, bum. Leos, we're starting off with the Seven of Swords in the upright. Not really the best card. Um, somebody is being deceptive. Somebody is not getting caught <laughs> so they're probably doing something behind your back and you aren't aware of it typically the seven of swords is the thief card somebody who's sneaking around cheating cutting corners being a slacker again this is a general reading so this could pretty much apply to any area of your life um they're doing it in a very very sneaky kind of way they're kind of stealing your sword so to speak um I think it might be more in a practical sense, so be aware of that. That's because of the card I'm seeing next to it. Um, but it, they are taking from you, and I think it's either practically or financially, so some sort of material acquisition um, of some sort. Because in the challenge position, we had the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and she's known for being a little bit of a greedy sort. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles basically is like a bitch when it comes to money. She tries to um, get money out of people, extract money from them. Um, anything that's going to be financially beneficial to her, uh, she's pretty much going to do. A very greedy person, a gold digger. Um, she puts she puts money and work before everything else. Um, so that's what I feel is going on here. Um, someone's being deceptive and like I said they're taking from you in a practical sense or monetary sense or etc etc um the advice here strangely enough <laughs> this is a strength card in reverse and I usually never kind of get this um and I wouldn't even recommend this often <laughs> but in this case i sort of feel as though you're going to have to use your mighty roar to put this person in check the strength card in the upright is like okay a gentle resolution let's manage this personality let's let's be compassionate you know be kinder to others um because you don't know the baggage they have or what have you um in this particular reading for advice they're kind of telling you to throw that out the window and it's time to come down on somebody and let them know that they can't take advantage of you um and and i feel like it, it's kind of saying that in a very um forthright authoritative way <laughs> um so i i think basically they're telling you is show them your teeth um and let it be known that you're not somebody to uh to um to allow this to continue okay so and again, it has a negative connotation to it, but given the circumstances, I can see it being allowable and I can see why that's being advised. And um, as we move forward with the Justice card in reverse, which is the card of Libra, uh, I'm actually feeling as though what's going on here is you're pointing out to them how dishonest they're being. Um, I really think you're coming down on them and saying, look, you're not going to get away with this anymore. You're not going to be able to put this on somebody else or blame somebody else. You've been very unfair. You've been doing very shady things. Um, and, and I'm here pretty much to, you know, um, 
let you to judge you and let you know that this is not okay and it's not going to continue being this way okay so do you see you stepping in your power and kind of letting them know how um how crappy they're sort of being and um unjust so to speak so let's see what's going on here why is the seven of swords here upright full card in the reverse yes somebody's taking you for a fool with the full card in reverse they're doing something and they're making you look foolish you could be suffering some sort of loss. Um, they could be breaking your heart. I feel like it's a loss, a setback, a failed project. Um, you're just losing something in some way. And the Ace of Wands and the Upright, to me, indicates that they're doing this so that they can further what they want to further. So they have, they have stuff that they want to do, and they're doing this so that they can, they can kind of get their thing going, okay? And and their new thing going. Um, at your expense i kind of feel like why is this queen of pentacles here in reverse who's this person what's this energy okay the nine of cups in the upright the page of cups in the reverse and the five of wands in the upright okay so i do feel however this person's being is is pretty much affecting your overall happiness. Um, you're not going to be able to be um, happy, uh, fulfilled, um, successful, um, have any of your wishes come true as long as this uh, person kind of perpetuates perpetuates sorry um they're pretty much of an emotional challenge it's like if this person doesn't get their way they kind of they kind of throw a fit um and, and they'll, you know what I mean? They'll be very reactive. And again, they'll blame it on somebody else. They want things to go their way. If it doesn't go their way, then they'll um, be really chaotic, like emotionally and redirect or throw people off track or throw you off track. Um, and another thing is they're very uh, competitive with you, I feel. So they don't, I'm, with the five of wands and the upright, I'm getting that they consider you competition and they kind of want to, um, it's kind of a flex for them or they want to they want to win out over you um they want to be the one kind of you know on top and it's a little bit of a game to them actually i'm kind of getting like it's a it's a it's a challenge to them to be doing this the other thing with the page of cups in reverse this person might like their substances a little bit so for me the page of cups is known to like his drinking uh partying drugs things like that so they might they might be trying to extract money for those means because they need to support a habit or something in that regard um why is the strength card here in reverse for advice who's yeah they're telling you to blow up um, and again, I don't like recommend that at all, but I think that you need to kind of do something like that to startle them and kind of let them show a side to you that they haven't seen yet. I feel as though they're, they're, <clears throat> and here they are again. So the King of Cups is getting really like emotionally blowing up, like really, <laughs> really kind of coming down on them and just letting everything fly and i feel like the thief card here is because you're letting them know i know what you're doing i'm super pissed about it i'm super disappointed about it and i'm done with you so they're telling you this is what you should do i'm done with you you're turning your back on them and you're considering other opportunities this could actually be an employee um you just kind of had it you blow up they you know they they disrespected you um and everyone knows you don't dis disrespect a Leo and you out them, you get very, um, very, very upset with them um, to the point where you intimidate them because you get so upset or they're telling you to kind of do that. Because I think that's the only thing that they're, they're going to respond to is you just kind of let that fly. And then immediately I feel like you kind of turn, they're saying, turn your back on this person and say, you know, nope, I'm done with you. I'm going to consider other opportunities. You're not even a factor anymore is what they're kind of telling you to do. But I feel like you continue to tell them how unfair they're being. Why is the justice card here reversed? Who's this person? What's this energy? Yeah. So you, you continue, you continue to let them know, okay, you know what? I know what you're doing. I know what you're up to. So I'm always going to have an eye on you with the page of swords in the upright. You're like, you're keeping them at a distance, but you're letting them know that you're always going to kind of, um, it, it, if they're in your circle or whatever, you're never going to trust them. And you're always going to be ready to defend yourself if they come near. 
So basically saying they're not going to be able to pull the same crap on you um, as you move forward for the middle of June. Six of Swords in reverse, I feel, is them um, getting the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> I feel like what they're doing is they're, they, they move away from you because they realize you're very serious about this. And... Um, you might even suggest, hey, maybe it's better for you to move on and go someplace else. You're not going to want to be in my space. I'm going to make it very uncomfortable for you. And the devil card in reverse shows uh, you releasing this person or this person, um, you know, as they go away, the toxicity goes away with them, not having to deal with them anymore. And and the devil card is also like confronting a, a dark being. So I feel as though that confrontation was done and that's how you released yourself from this. So yeah, give them hell pretty much. Show your teeth and give them hell. Um, so that's what I have for you. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Email me, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715. Um, click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra, which will have your love, career, finances, and health in there specifically. In my playlist are your 2022 sun moon predictions. 2023s are going to start coming out this month. Post your requests in the comments. I will put you in queue. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe or please donate in the link below. Anything in support of my channel is always appreciated, even if it's just verbal support in your comments. So in the comments, that is all I have for you, Leos. I will see you over in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.